Um, some people have asked me what I'm doing and how I'm doing with my how I'm using my right hand when playing single string things. I've shown this a bunch of times in other scale videos, but I, I guess maybe I don't know. Maybe I haven't uh, spent enough time kind of just describing it. Um, I'm staying away from anything descriptive of music right now. I'm just going to show you an exercise I do sometimes to warm up. And basically the notes I'm playing are 10, 11, 12 on all four strings. And these are just some things as I sit down and try to get my right hand working, which oftentimes it doesn't do very well. And um, I'll, I play through things like, like this. And I'm trying to give you the best vision of what my right hand is. I'll just play straight up and straight down. Again, starting with my thumb on my fourth string. I'm rolling forward. And then I'll start with my thumb on the top string and roll backward. So you've got... Sometimes, and I, you can do that forever, I alter that up by um, changing, I think, let's see. I won't start on the top string on my thumb, and it throws all my fingering off by a note coming back down. So I'll go. Now I'm, I'm on that finger, and then I roll backwards coming back down. And that seems like a minor thing, but... It throws your fingering pattern completely off. Now I'm there. It causes a crossover. having to come back under where my thumb just played. So anyway, that's the simplest thing that I do just to warm up. And I'll cross over strings. I'll play the fourth string, then the second string, third string, fourth string, and then vice versa coming back backward. And again, you'll notice I'm rolling backward coming down, forward going up. That just innately happened. I never thought that would, you know, thought about that for any reason. It just happened that way. Now, then that's just, you know, up and down, up and down, very simple. Um, then there are, you know, what, what I consider scale patterns, but in this case are just note patterns to, con to consider. I play a few different ones, and here's, I play lots of variations of these just to get tie my fingers up and make my fingers do things that they're not comfortable doing. But here's one of them, it's just four notes up. <laughs> start so and then I'll start on the top with my thumb and there's a couple things that my hand naturally does there well let me stop for just a second and explain my moving upward pattern is basically So it's an eight note roll pattern. Shoot. Is that going up?
so that's four notes up, four notes down. So that's very usable, but then I'll go three notes up, one back. So that, again, that uh, it's, it's a roll pattern. Always kind of not, not a rule, but the idea is to keep it in an eight note sequence so I can play 16th note, 4-4, four, 2-4 four, four kind of music and, and have, it, have a, a, that feel to it. So that one works kind of cool. Then there's one where I'll play if I were playing with two fingers, it would be. By the way, I know there's some folks who've said that you can do everything. Nobody needs to play with more with three fingers in, in the roll patterns, or nobody needs to use three fingers on lower strings, and that everything can be done with a thumb index, thumb index type of thing. Well, I'm jealous of those people, and I wish I could. I really do. But I I've you know learned from um, guys like Bela Fleck, who you know started using T M T I T M picking on the lower string. We gave him some fluidity and some speed, um, and then learning from other guys like Ryan Cavanaugh, um, uh, how he plays, which is a much more doesn't matter which finger he's using. Now he's much further down the path than probably I'll ever be. But um, I've learned from them and tried to try to use those techniques to make, to give myself fluidity and, and um, a smooth sound when playing single string. And um, and it works. For me, it works. The TITI thing, I can't, I, I mean, I, you can, I could practice till the, they put me in the coffin and I'd never get it as fast or as smooth. At low, t at slow tempos, it's great for me. It works great. But once, I, if I can't play what I hear in my head, then it, the technique does me no good whatsoever. So I have to find things to, to play that allow me to play what's in my head when I want to play it, not have to stop and you know, or slow down or drop out of the groove or play something that sounds bad. I'd rather be able to accomplish it. So I work on things that help me do that. So, um, so this is uh, that, where were we? Okay. That's not. That's just rolling forward and backward, coming down. So that's uh, helpful. Um, also, e playing one note up and then dropping back a note. This thing and then coming down. This is kind of funky because you're doing a lot of crossing over. I'll do it slowly. good. Um, I'm going to stop right now, and if I can think of any other things that I do to warm up and to use my right hand, I'll do it. <laughs>